Hi everyone, today I will, group, will present about one of the issues related to dairy industry and dairy products in Malaysia which is the dependence on imports to meet domestic demand for dairy products in, in Malaysia. Malaysia is a country that heavily relies on imports to meet its domestic demand for dairy products. This means that the majority of the dairy products consumed within Malaysia are imported from other countries rather than being produced locally. This dependence on imports can attribute to a number of factors such as lack of domestic production capacity, low productivity of local dairy farms, and the relatively high cost of production dairy products in Malaysia compared to other countries. This dependence on imports can also lead to issues such as increased food costs for consumers, a reduced ability to control the quality of dairy products, and a lack of support for local dairy farming. Assalamualaikum, my name is Wong Lisa Nasir. My website number is f 19 So today, I uh, will explain about the dairy product. So, what is dairy product? Dairy product is uh, defined as the milk and any of the food made from milk including butter, cheese, ice cream, yogurt, dry milk and sour cream. In Malaysia, there are also some dairy products such as ice cream, flavored milk, yogurt, cheese, and some cream, and also other dairy products. For example, farm fresh, pro farm fresh products such as as uh, flavored milk and yogurt. In addition, there are other local uh, products such as fried cow, where produce uh, sour cream, yogurt, and also cheese. So uh, next is a multi ice cream. It's a one. It's a, also a one of the local product wa was used uh, was produced a uh, ice cream using a dairy product. And the last one is a Milky Way cheese. It's a one of the local brand that produce a uh, cheese. So I think that's all for my part. Thank you. The graph showed the dairy products, eggs, honey, and edible products that imported to Malaysia from Australia on 2021. As much as 147 and 51 million worth of products were imported. As we can see from the table, cheese and curd contribute the largest part in total of product imported which is 54.18 million US dollar from 147 and 51 million US dollar. Most of imported products are dairy products. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Farid Zudin bin Janudin So for your information, there are a lot of challenges in the Malaysian dairy product industry such as lack of skill and training In the 1980th century, smallholders were completely new to livestock husbandry management One of the main constraints of developing the dairy sector was inadequate training provided to farmers. This shortage of trained manpower at all levels leads to poor hygiene and milking technique, resulting in the rejection of milk by MCCFs. Moreover, is poor dairy farm management. Production remains low as management practices and record keeping systems are not up to the standard. Small-scale dairy farmers who own less than 30 dairy animals typically still use handwritten recording system while others fail to produce any records. Other than that, it's inadequate, nutritious feed, lactating dairy cattle not fit with, in, with adequate nutritious feed is another contributing factor that has led to low productivity of dairy cattle. According to Devandra, lactating rumina require adequate feed supplies and supplement and there must be variation in feed quality. By understanding the use of concentrated dietary composition, stage of lactation and use of feeding standard along with a very fit routine will assist dairy cattle in increasing milk production. In addition is high input and feed cost. Another hydrants to the development of the Malaysian dairy sector is the high production cost. Malaysia does not have cooperative advantage in milk production. 
Malaysia import most of its breeder animal from Australia and New Zealand. The increasing demand from none from other importing countries and limited supplies of quality breeder animal has resulted in higher import costs for Malaysia. The limited availability of land and grazing area for cattle rearing as well as high feed costs continues to constrain the development of meat production of meat production in the country. Last but not least is low breed performance and inadaptability to local environmental condition. The dairy animal low genetic potential for meat production contribute to the low production level. A cross-breeding program was started to develop Sahiwa Frisian crossbreed cattle that is adaptable to the hot and humid local environment. The desired improvement was achieved with support from national development policies. Unfortunately, this effort is short-lived as to the Malaysia does not have new registered local pure breed dairy cattle with the desired cattle characteristic such as high milk yield and adaptable to local humid condition. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Hani Shafi and today I'm going to present about the ways to improve dairy product in Malaysia. First and foremost, it's genetic improvement. This can be done by importing new high quality dairy cows from countries with advanced dairy industries such as Australia and New Zealand. It is to improve the genetics of the local herd by making a breed with high quality cows with our local breed cow. Next is the feed and nutrition. By providing feed and nutrition to dairy cows is crucial for improving milk production and the quality of dairy products. This can include using high quality feed and su supplement as well as ensuring that cows have access to clean and adequate water. Furthermore, it's farm management. By implementing good farm management practice such as proper sanitation can help to improve the health of dairy cows and quality of the milk. Uh, next, it's processing and packaging. By investing in modern processing and packaging, technology can help to improve the quality and shelf life of dairy products. Next, the quality control and regulation. By adopting strict quality control measures and regulation can help to ensure that dairy products are safe for consumption and meets its international standards. Furthermore, research and development. It is important to invest in research and development because it can help to improve the efficiency of dairy product and the quality of dairy production. Next is the marketing and branding. Developing a strong marketing and branding strategy can help to increase awareness and demand for dairy products. And finally, the support from the government. Government support in terms of funding, subsidies, and technical assistance. It can help by improve the dairy industry in Malaysia and support the local business of dairy products in Malaysia. Hi, my name is Irfan and today I would like to share a few opportunities that you can get in the process of improving dairy products in Malaysia. First is feed and nutrition which is providing high quality feed and supplements for dairy cows can be a profitable business opportunity. This can be done by setting up a fat mill that produces high quality feed and supplements special, special specifically formulated for dairy cows or by importing and distributing high quality feed and supplements from other countries. The second is farm management uh, which is providing consulting service and training for good farm management practice can be a profitable business opportunity. This 
can include providing training on proper sanitation, animal health, and milk production, as well as offering consulting services to help farmers improve their management practice. The third thing is research and development. You can invest in research and development to improve the efficiency of dairy products and the quality of dairy products. This can include setting up a research facility that focus on improving dairy production methods or by investing in new technologies that can improve the quality of dairy products. The next thing is quality control and regulation which is offering testing, inspection and certification services can be a profitable business opportunity as it will help to ensure that dairy products meet international standards. This can include setting up a laboratory that tests dairy products for quality and safety or by offering inspection and certification services to ensure that dairy product meets government regulation. For conclusion, Malaysia's dependence on imports to meet domestic demand for dairy product has both positive and negative consequences. The government should focus on increasing domestic milk production and promoting sustainable farming practices to overcome the challenge and mitigate the negative effects of this dependence. Additionally, there are several potential areas for business in the dairy industry including milk processing, research and development, and import and distribution. That's all from us. Thank you.